What's up YouTubers? Welcome back. Today we're taking a look at a newly released Joy Toy figure set. This particular set is called the 03 ST Legion Interstellar Trooper Group. As you can see it comes with three figures and on the front of the box there's a nice artwork of all three figures. On the top of the box it's written Battle for the Stars. On the bottom it spells out Interstellar Trooper. On this side has a great depiction of the logo, a fist with the lightning bolt. And on this side it actually says Joy Toy in the foil lettering. Looking at the back, you get a good look at some of the accessories that this actually comes with. Now for all you minted box collectors, this would be a great way to display this just like this. But I say let's open it up and see what's inside. I've taken everything out of the package, laid it on the table, and as you can see, it comes with a lot of great stuff. First up, let's take a look at this pamphlet it came with. On the front it says, 03 ST Legion and Battle for the Stars. Flip it over, it says, 03 ST Legion Interstellar Trooper. And on the inside, it's got a great disassembly example if you need to ever repair or take apart your figure. Looking on the other side, has a great looking picture of the team and on the bottom it shows all the weapons and accessories that pertain to each figure so I try to mimic that as we go through the review. Let's fold this back up and stick it back over here. The first figure here comes with three rifles and a pistol. The center figure comes with a rifle and a pistol and he comes with three rifles and a pistol. Each figure comes with his own helmet and tiny balaclava head and that's so you can pop off the sculpted head, put the balaclava head on and fit the helmet on the figure. Over here we have a couple of knives, fists, I love to see this, spare parts in case we break our figure, a shield, the handle for the shield, and this is something new. It looks like a set of water slide or stickers that you're gonna to apply to the figures. So that's something different. And of course, the three figures themselves. Now that everything's laid out, let's take a nice close look at all these accessories. And I think we'll start with the shield. We bring it in nice and close to the camera. And as you can see, it's got a weathered white or off-white wash to it. It's got the Northern Union government logo on the front with the word warning underneath. It's got some gray highlights around it. Absolutely great looking detail. You flip it over, they actually painted the back side of this thing. And there's a post, and that's how you take this handle right here, and you just peg that on the post. With a little bit of work, you just wiggle it back and forth, and you can either put the handle on in this direction, or if you prefer, you can take it and spin it around in the opposite direction and that way your figure can either hold it with his left or right hand. And you can see the C-clamp here goes on the wrist and that's the handle that goes in the figure's hand. Up next, let's take a look at the closed fists that the set comes with. And you can see that these are both right and left hand and these are black with some silver highlights on the knuckles and on the back side. Let's take a look at the two small knives that the set comes with. I'm trying to get these into the camera. These are really tiny. You can see that the blades are painted silver and there's two different types of blades. One's a little bit longer than the other. There's some great looking detail on these. And let me show you the differences in the handles. And of course, we've already talked about the spare parts that this set comes with. And again, let's take a look at the stickers up close. And as I look at these, I'm not really sure what these are. Maybe squinted eyes or something. 
I'll have to take them out of the package later and do a little bit of research. Next up, let's take a look at the weapons. And as you can see, there's three identical long rifles. Let me bring this in nice and close. Now this is a metallic silver molded plastic. It's got some wonderful detail on it with the black painted stock and handle and maybe a flashlight underneath there. Looking at this side, and you can see the yellow canister on both sides of this thing. Some type of futuristic space pulse rifle of some sort. There's actually two of these rifles. Again, it's made out of a dark gray plastic with a silver wash on it, with a red canister on the side. Great looking detail on these as well. And for the other rifle, there's actually two of these rifles. Again, out of the same gray molded plastic with silver wash on it. Got another red canister on these. Absolutely fantastic, futuristic looking guns comes with this set. And lastly, there's three pistols. And these are identical. And just like the rifles, they come with some fantastic looking detail on them. They're made out of the same dark gray plastic with the silver highlighted wash. And these look pretty futuristic to me as well. And the last accessories I want to look at is the helmets. And as you can see, there's two blue and one white to depict the leader. And as I bring this in close, you can see the beautiful paintwork of the cherry red visor, the metallic blue, and the gray highlights. And just look at the molding on these things. On the top, the back, all the way around. Absolutely fantastic. And these are made out of a pliable or rubbery plastic, so they go on the head pretty easily. Let's look at the white one. And again, it's the same exact mold as the blue, but this is painted in an off-white weathered look. Same great detail all around. A lot of detail they put in these things. And as I pointed out earlier, each figure comes with his own tiny balaclava head. And these just pop onto the figures because the helmets go on these, they do not fit on the sculpted heads. They didn't bother to paint any of the eyes. But taking a closer look, there's a little bit of detail on these. Now I've cleared out the table and I want to show you how the helmets actually go on the figures. And what I do is I take the head and kind of roll it back and off. If you happen to pull the neck post off, it's okay, because that's just on a ball joint. You just post back on here. I'll take one of the balaclava heads, pop this on. And what I did is I took a little bit of heat and warmed up the helmets to make them pliable. It slides on nice and easily. Let's show you the leader. Same thing, I roll the head off. Pop the balaclava head back on. And take his white helmet. That slides on pretty easily. This gives you a good depiction of what they look like when they're all suited up. And lastly, this guy. Pop this on. And the last blue helmet. And there we are. I wanted to take a moment and put some weapons in these figures' hands. And I wanted to show you that even though with all this bulky armor on, they hold these weapons absolutely perfectly. 
He's setting down this rifle like a champ. Take a look at the leader of the group. He's holding a pistol. And here you can see he's sighting down that thing like a professional. I'm absolutely blown away with the articulation of these figures. And next up, this gentleman's holding one of the shorter rifles. It's tucked into his shoulder. He's sighting down that sight. And I also want to show you right here is the clip to hold all the pistols and a little bit of heat is pliable so you can just clip the pistol on each one of their thighs. And even though these figures are bulky with all this armor, they're holding onto their weapons perfectly. Taking a look at the paint and sculpt of each of the figures, I line them up so you can see that these two figures are absolutely identical. The leader has the same armor except his chest is red and of course each one of them has a different head sculpt. I'll bring this figure in close to the camera and we can see all the wonderful design. Looking at his head sculpt, he's got a screaming face or he's either in pain or he's shouting orders. He's bald with a brown beard. You can see the fantastic silver paint up here on top of his pauldrons. Coming down to his chest there's some red highlights with silver down to his blue card piece, which is actually part of the belt. And that's removable. Down to his thighs, got some silver with the same metallic blue armor, with some yellow cautionary symbols on both of his shins. There's some sculpting on top of his boots, and sculpting on the bottom of his boots, with two foot peg holes. All the figures are wearing the same black gloves with silver highlights. Looking at his left shoulder, you can see the number three and all the great detail on the armor. Lift this up, you can see he's wearing a yellow smoke grenade or some type of shock grenade. Sculpting all the way down. You can actually see the side of the thrusters on his calves. Looking at the back, you can see the red highlights of the jetpack. And they actually painted the inside of the boosters. And beneath those, you can see the two silver air vents. Coming down to his belt is some great detail, protecting his backside. Sculpting on the back of his thighs and down here on his calves, you can see the two yellow arrows and two more boosters down here. On the back of his pauldrons, you can see this, the number three. And looking at his right shoulder, it's a nice callback to the Steel Knights from the original Joy Toy line. And of course, great sculpting on the armor on this arm. Coming down to his hip, here's the clip to hold the pistol. Some more cautionary tape down here and great looking sculpting on the boots. Absolutely fantastic sculpt work on these figures. Let's look at the leader, and as you can see, he's got the same armor except he has a red chest plate on with silver highlights. He has a stern look on his face with a salt and pepper type hair. Great looking detail on top. Coming around to the back, you can see the red rocket pack back here with the yellow highlights. Let me see if I can't stand him up in the middle without knocking the team over. And we'll take a look at the final figure. And looking at the final figure's head sculpt, I just wanted to point out that, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but these eyes aren't painted, but they're actually silk screened on. That's how they get all this wonderful detail. And he's got a two-tone brown haircut. Great detail on this. That's the team. Lastly, let's take a look at the articulation of the figures. Now the articulation is absolutely identical for all three of these members. And you can look left and right. And the head is of course on a double ball joint so you get a good range of motion. You can look up about this far. Down pretty good. 
The shoulders raise up about this far, and of course they're hindered with the pauldron. These rotate 360 degrees. Coming down to the elbow, bends a nice tight 90 degrees. These also rotate. Coming down to the wrist, these rotate 360 degrees. And this particular wrist goes in and out, or this wrist goes up and down. Now coming down to the waist, of course you can't see the ab crunch with all this armor on, but the waist is on a ball joint, so you get good range of motion here. With all the bulk on you, you really can't get the ab crunch to work. Not too bad though. You can do the splits about this far. You can kick it forward this far. You might be able to get a little bit more if you turn the thigh joint. Right here, which spins 360 degrees. Of course, he's got the double knee bend. down to his feet, he can point his toe this far, and he can point it up this far. And of course, the ankle is on a rocker, so you get some range of motion here. You gotta play with it a little bit because of the armor. But even with all this bulk on, these guys can move pretty well. Let's wrap up this video with some size comparison. First up, I'll grab another Joy Toy figure. And then I'll bring in a Pursuit of Cobra Snake Eyes. How about a Custom Marauders Russian Diana figure? Get her on camera and we take her hat off so we get a true height comparison. And lastly, let's bring in the big boy, Leatherneck from G.I. Joe. And of course, he towers over everybody. And this helps give you a good look at how these figures measure up with other 118th scale toy lines out there. Well, this has been my look at the Joy Toy 03 ST Legion Interstellar Trooper set. From its metallic blue armor, built-in jetpacks on their backs and calves, and the absolutely fantastic sculpt work and zero paint slot, this set is a must-get to add to your collection. And even though they have bulky, realistic-looking armor, they still can hold their weapons perfectly. Joy Toy, once again, knocked it out of the park. And as always, I'd like to thank you for watching. And if you like what you see, join the community and hit that subscribe button. And remember, share your knowledge.